Welcome at uh, tutorial number 61 of the EEP10 model railway simulator. In the previous two videos we have been looking at a possible way to design universal control systems for our layouts. And what we have done is we took a look at two of the types of control that we need, that is the random in-out control and the single track control. Uh, well, so far so good. In this video let's have a look at a somewhat more complex layout and see how we can use those controls to control that. So let us open up EEP and have a look. Well, is this more complex? Well, maybe not, but I made it a little bit more complex because the the way the trains should run on this layout is a bit different and also involves single tracks that need to be protected. Let's have a look what we want to do with this layout. We have a station south and here on track 1 there is a train and I want it to go eastward and then to station north I want track 1, 2 and 3 to be available. Uh, it should choose a free track of those 3, 1, 2 and 3. So this is north 1, 2, 3. Uh, and then also on north 1, 2, 3, uh, one of the trains should go back over here to station south. That's what I want. And also we have here a north track 4, but the train on that is the other way around, so it can go this way. And that train should always end up here on station south track 2. And if it is on station south track 2, uh, I also want it to be able to go up to station north track 4 again. Um, okay, this is what I would like to do. And now the question is how can we build control systems for that? Well, this is a simple layout so we can remember it. But what I usually do for a, a bit more complex layout that is not overseeable in one look, I start creating a spreadsheet. So let's also do this for uh, this one. It makes things a little bit clear. Ooh, where is my spreadsheet? Well, let's, let's put it always on top so I don't lose it. This is an empty spreadsheet. Let me make one of these bars gray and let me say here from. From, I'm going to make a list from and then also to. From where to where can I go on this layout. And not to uh, uh, make things complicated for myself, the first thing that I'm going to do is simply make a list of all the locations where a train can come from. So let's start here at station south. Well, we have track south 1. Yeah, there is a train, there's a signal. So if this signal becomes green for whatever reasons, it is a feed for somewhere else. A train can come from track south 1. Okay, uh, also track south 2. Uh, trains can come from there obviously. I wanted them to go the other way around. There is the signal. I wanted to go them to there. So also track south 2 is a track where trains can come from. And then we have station north. Well, I said uh, I wanted three tracks, one, two and three, to be a sort of a depot. Uh, and uh, since they have only one entry and also one exit, there is no need to name them all separately. I can conveniently name them North 1, 2, 3. They, they are treated more or less as, as one track. And then we also have track North 4. Yes, there is a sync signal that can be used in the control. North 4 is also a feed for other tracks. Do I have more than this? No. South 1, South 2, North 1, 2, 3, 4. I have used them all. So this did so far not much thinking was involved, just listing. Listing and giving those things names that we can reference them by. Okay, now it becomes a little bit more complicated in the way that we now have to think a little bit. 
the design of this layout, how we how we want to work with it. Uh, well, what I what I wanted to accomplish is that train on south one should be able to go to north one, two, or three. So I'm going to simply write that down: north one, two, three. From south two, all I wanted from south two is to be able to go to north four and nowhere else. So I write down from south two to north four. From north one, two, three, I want to go to south one. Okay, let me put that over here. And from north four, I want to be able to go to south two and nowhere else. Okay, so this is the design of the layout. Actually, everything that can happen on this layout is now listed over here. Now the question is, what type of control do I need? Well, we had only two types of control. We had the random in or random out control and we had the single track control. Single track, okay. Well, I have to do a little bit of thinking. I want to go from south one, from one track to many tracks. So what type of control that is? Well, I want to select a random track and I'm going to push it in. Uh, so that is a random in control. Then I go from one to one. Is that, uh, yeah, there's nothing random about it. I have no other choice. Then I, I can go from multiple tracks to one track. So this track, south one, should pull a train out of that depot. So that is a, a random out control. Oh, I'm using capitals. Let's do it there to keep it neat. Uh, then N4 to S2 is a one to one. So, well, nothing random about that. So this means that for the control, the way I designed this layout and wanted to work, I need only two random controls. Well, as you can see, they were already <laughs> built uh, here. That is to uh, speed up things a little bit. Uh, but in the design phase, you have nothing there yet. But now we see we have to build one random control uh, and always with N123. That's why I have three sensors or uh, signals here that, that tell me if there's a train or not. Okay, then the single tracks. From south one to north one to three, uh, that goes over this track and well, also this train from north four to south two wants to go over that track. So yes, I need a single track on the east side at least. Um, Yes, also the train from north 4, I said, uses that same single track. And then I can go from south 2 to north 4, that is from here to there, that goes over the west track, but at the same time trains from north 1, 2, 3 can go to south 1. So that is also a single track protection both on the west side. So we can see here that I need two single track protections, one that I called conveniently east, just to give it a name, and one that I called west. What we see, what we have uh, uh, done so far is actually on paper, on a spreadsheet, we have been designing our whole control circuit uh, for this layout. And what we need to do now is to build it. Well, let's do that in a next video. Uh, as you can see, uh, I will save this first file. Save, I had already given that a name. So, uh, as you can see over here, uh, I have already built those two random controls and those two single track controls, but I have not placed any sensors in them. That is what we are going to do in the next video together. See you back there.